we are taking pictures of these objects with astonishing precision. It's like, whoa! The James Webb Telescope is the pride and joy of modern astrophysics and has pioneered many of modern astronomy's biggest discoveries. This modern marvel recently captured an image that has taken the world of astronomy by storm and left many scientists rattled to their core. According to astrophysicist Bill Nye, this image has the potential to completely disrupt how we have come to see and understand the universe. It might even go as far as changing our views on how we, as humans, came to be. Let's go! Time Machine's web will push us back into the realm of the very first stars and galaxies in the universe. What has the James Webb Telescope revealed? How will it affect the entirety of science as we know it? Join us in this video as we discuss Bill Nye breaking his silence on the James Webb Telescope's most shocking new image seen to date. According to Bill Nye, an award-winning mechanical engineer, it all started with Webb's first deep field. Webb's first deep field is the first ever high-resolution image of our 13-billion-year-old universe. Bill Nye, who has been the CEO of the Planetary Society since 2010, plays a vital role in providing vision and guiding important organizational decisions. He also acts as the public face of the society. In a recent interview, Bill Nye was happy to dive into the exciting topic of Webb's first deep field. He could not hide his excitement that this new image had brought forth a new and great opportunity to explore the universe in new and unprecedented depths. If you could somehow be there with your spacesuit looking out, you wouldn't see any of these things, the image was taken in infrared wavelength. The first deep field was unveiled a little earlier than planned. President Joe Biden unveiled the image on July 11, 2022, during a White House event. The new image represents the highest resolution and most extensive infrared view of the universe ever produced since humans started to build tools for this very purpose. The image shows in stunning detail the light emitted by many distant galaxies. The light from these galaxies does not travel normally in a straight line. The light they emit is curved and magnified by the gravitational pull of the foreground galaxy clusters. The lensing effects of this phenomenon create arcs of light that are just stunning to behold. The image showcases the SMAX 0723 galaxy as it appeared for 0.6 billion years ago. The galaxies in the background are even further away. The light of these galaxies travels more than 13 billion years to reach us. The image captures only a small section of the sky. This image is so small it could fit behind a grain of sand if you hold it at arm's length. Bill Nye further explained that a deep field allows us to conveniently peer into the vast void that is outer space between visible stars and galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope, the predecessor of the infamous James Webb Telescope, gave us its deep fields in its time. It took the images while orbiting close to Earth. Webb's first deep field, however, comes from much further away in space, where it is significantly colder. These galaxies are incredibly far away from Earth, many of them are about 13 billion light-years away from the furthest corner of the universe. Light travels at a constant speed, so whatever light we observe from these galaxies today is ancient light that has been traveling for billions of years. This old light provides a glimpse into what the universe looked like in its early stages. Bill Nye adds that it is quite humbling that we are privileged to witness the stories this old light tells, and it is nothing short of mind-blowing. Bill Nye further breaks down the Carina Nebula image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera. The Carina Nebula is located about 7,500 light-years away from Earth. The nebula is located in an area known as the Cosmic Cliffs. The Cosmic Cliffs are like a nursery where young stars are born. Some of the stars created in this region are bigger than our solar system's sun. The deep fields are taken using infrared wavelengths. The infrared cameras detect these otherwise invisible objects in infrared, and the scientists back on Earth convert the data into clear physical images that all can see. The universe continually expands, and the farther and faster an object moves, the redder it appears. This is the reason why red lights are used to represent distant objects. This reddening of distant objects is also referred to as redshift. On the other hand, objects that are closer in distance appear blue. Blue also happens to be the chosen color for the central object in the image. This object is known as the Doppler effect. In this stellar nursery, stars are birthed, 
and these new stars spin, just like our sun and every other celestial body many billions of years old. The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that existed half a billion years ago. This is the basis of all life, this is why our solar system, galaxy, and even the universe exist. Our solar system consists of spinning planets orbiting a spinning star, all of which in turn are orbiting around the galaxy's center. It is amazing to see, but one question begs to be answered, why does everything spin? Well, here's the answer, when the mutual gravity of these celestial objects brings them together, their initial unevenness often resolves itself, reshaping the new body into a disk. At the center of the disk, another reshaping takes place, where the disk is then transformed into a sphere. This image of the cosmic cliffs is a stunning illustration of one of the places where new stars emerge, courtesy of the moving gravitational forces and the natural spinning motions of most celestial objects. Bill Nye also commented on what scientists call the Southern Ring Nebula. This nebula is also referred to as the Eight Burst Nebula. The Eight Burst Nebula is a planetary nebula located about 2,000 light years away from Earth. The images we have of this nebula were also captured by NASA's James Webb Telescope, with one taken in near-infrared light and the other in mid-infrared light. He explains that the Ring Nebula, with its fascinating name, can be observed by astronomers in the Earth's southern hemisphere. It provides a rare opportunity for it to be witnessed so closely. The Ring Nebula is a star that has gone through a supernova explosion. A supernova explosion creates the elements necessary to facilitate the creation of life, including all humans. Bill Nye refers to this nebula as an interesting opportunity to catch a glimpse into the creative process of life. Nye goes on to quote Carl Sagan on how we are all connected to the universe because we are made up of the same elements these stars are made of. They are correct when they say there's a universe inside us. In a way, the very existence of human life is how the universe reminds itself of its existence and becomes fully aware of it. While Bill Nye showed obvious excitement about the quote on the human connection to the vast universe, he continued speaking about the image of the southern ring. The image showed the presence of a white dwarf. The white dwarf is a star that has shed most of its material and has collapsed under its gravity. At this stage, the dying or dead star emits a white light. Upon closer inspection, astronomers made a discovery. They noticed that two objects within the nebula were orbiting each other. Bill Nye spoke about this phenomenon with an analogy. He likened the occurrence to when two individuals on roller skates or ice skates glide towards one another and then hold hands to spin around together. The two objects orbiting one another were engaged in a rather intimate celestial dance. We wonder how that dance would end and when. Another phenomenon that caught Bill Nye's attention is the Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's Quintet, as the name implies, is a group or cluster of five separate galaxies. Stefan's Quintet is located about 290 million light years from the constellation Pegasus, and thanks to the James Webb Telescope, this image is going to be very, very useful for that. Let's reveal it now. There it is. It's called Stefan's Quintet. NASA has captured some amazing images and obtained incredible details about this galaxy cluster, such as shock waves and tidal waves. Four of the five images in Stefan's Quintet interact frequently. The result of that interaction is what is shown in the stunning photograph we can see of it. There is also a black hole thrown in there with all that beauty. Bill Nye makes some interesting theories about the black hole. He spoke about the daunting mass of the black hole and how the gravitational pull is so strong that not even the tiniest stream of light can escape it. Scientists have found an alternative way to study black holes, especially since it is virtually impossible to study them directly. Scientists study the light that does manage to reach us here on Earth, which comes from the stars behind it and around it. As for the black hole in Stefan's Quintet, scientists are studying it by examining a gas cloud around it to determine. What elements are present? So far, they have counted neon, argon, iron, and sulfur. Bill explains that what researchers most desire is not just finding new planets, but also being able to examine their atmospheres in great detail. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, that dream has become a reality and, more than that, a smashing success. Thanks again to the James Webb Space Telescope, we have finally gotten details concerning a certain exoplanet known as WASP-96b. 
by analyzing the composition of the exoplanet, scientists, with the aid of James Webb, could pick up signs of water and haze. If you were wondering how we could spot a planet so far away, Bill Nye succeeds in breaking it down for us. He explained that when a planet passes between us and its star, the brightness of the planet decreases, but the brightness increases again when the planet moves to the other side or, more specifically, behind Earth. The increase and decrease in brightness happen because the planet orbits around the star. By closely observing the pattern, we can infer that the changes in brightness come as a result of the planet's movement. According to Bill Nye, scientists can study the planet's atmosphere by examining the star's light as it passes through the atmosphere. When they analyze the different wavelengths of light that make it through, scientists can then determine what the atmosphere of the planet under scrutiny is composed of. Scientists often seek specific gases like water vapor, oxygen, and nitrogen. It's safe to say that scientists often look out for a planet's capability to support life. When light shines through these gases, some wavelengths are absorbed, while the rest pass through. The James Webb Telescope's high sensitivity allows scientists to deduce the atmospheric composition based on their observations accurately. Bill Nye also touched on finding life on other planets. This is a source of interest for many individuals, man has always pondered if he truly is alone in the universe. Bill states that whenever water vapor is found on any planet, it is a promising sign because water is abundant in our solar system. It is thus reasonable to think that it would be common elsewhere. When water is found, the next thing scientists look out for is methane. Methane is one of the best natural gases, and if you happen to find methane on a planet where water is already present, the likelihood of organic life being present on that planet is higher. Bill goes on to state that if a star with a planet that has an atmosphere containing methane and water orbiting it is ever found, it would suggest the existence of life. This is because most of the methane on Earth is produced by living organisms. It is only logical that the same rule should apply out there. If indeed there is life out there, Bill believes it would completely alter our feelings about being alive. We humans have wondered about our origins for the longest time, and finding life out there would be both terrifying and exciting. A whole new world of possibilities would open up, and we would want to learn all we can about our neighbors. Perhaps we would team up with them to find answers to questions we are sure would have plagued them too, about the universe and its origin, and maybe go on a quest to find more intelligent species in the stars. Bill Nye assures us that future discoveries will be more extraordinary and mind-blowing. For example, our grandparents were not aware of the term relativity. It would not be surprising if future generations made more remarkable and groundbreaking discoveries. Maybe more information about dark energy and dark matter would have come to light then and become less of an enigma. How these two abundant elements interact and behave may come to light in the next 10 or 30 years. Who knows? The James Webb Telescope continues to push the frontiers of astrophysics and astronomy, giving us great insights into the most remote parts of our ever-expanding universe. Bill Nye, our favorite science guy, may not always be around to take us through each discovery, but we can be assured that someone will walk us through it. What part of this new image fascinates you the most? Do you think we are one step closer to discovering what happened at the beginning of the universe? Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, click the video on your screen for more quality content like this one.